The title of the book we are going to read is If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. The author's name is Laura Numeroff, and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond. One day, when it was snowing and snowing and snowing in a house, there was a little boy getting ready to go see a movie. And as he was getting ready, he decided Hey, why not take the mouse with me to go see the movie? But, if you take a mouse to the movies, what'll happen? And the boy and the mouse arrived to the movie theater to watch a movie. And they were walking into the theater. And the mouse said, hey, I want some popcorn over there. And the boy said, okay, sure, why not? And so he buys a bucket of popcorn, and as they're watching the movie, he eats some of it and hands it over to the mouse. And the mouse grabs a big kernel to bite, but then he pauses and says, Hey, I want some string. I want to string up this popcorn, kernel by kernel. And the boy said, Okay, sure, and pulls out some string out of his pocket and gives it to the mouse. And then the mouse starts stringing up the popcorn. And he finishes his popcorn string, and he's holding it. And then the mouse says to the boy, Hey! I want to put this up on a Christmas tree. And they didn't watch the movie because they left. And the mouse and the boy were walking along searching for a Christmas tree. And they saw a beautiful tree. And the boy had to pay for it. So the boy buys the tree and drags it along the ground with the mouse hopping beside him with his popcorn string. And then the mouse sees the next door neighbor and the next door neighbor had built a snowman. And the mouse said, hey, I want to make our own snowman. And so he starts packing up the snow and piling it up. And he says to the boy, hey, bring a carrot. Yeah, please, get one. And the boy said, okay, okay. And he runs over and grabs a carrot and gives it to the mouse. And the mouse puts it on the snowman as a nose. And the mouse grabs the boy's hat and puts it on top of the snowman. But it wasn't a snowman. It was a snow mouse. So cool. And the mouse said to the boy, hey, help me make a fort. You know, where you have to get snow and build up the walls. And the boy said, okay, and he helped build the fort. And the fort was so awesome. It was built high like a castle with towers at the top. And the little mouse was at the very top. And he decides to make snowballs to throw at the boy. So he makes one and throws him and throws another one. The boy's standing there and small snowballs are hitting him on the side of his face. And he looks over and starts laughing and says, oh, that's cute. And the mouse said, hey, let's play and play. But then he became very cold. And he said, hey, I'm so cold. I want to go back home. I want to lie down on the couch and warm up. And the boy picks up the mouse and carries him back to the house. And he takes off his wet coat. And the mouse lie down on the couch, shivering. And the mouse said to the boy, hey, I would like a blanket. Could you get me one, please? And the mouse was shivering. And the boy grabs a large blanket and wraps it around the mouse. And the mouse was so small, all snuggled in the blanket. And then he said to the boy, hey, I want some Christmas music. And the boy said, okay. And he grabbed a radio and switched the channel to the right station, the Christmas Carol station. And he started playing it to the mouse, and the mouse was listening along. And then he grabbed a microphone and started singing along to the music, and sang and sang, and the boy covered his ears, and the mouse sang loudly. And then a thought came to the mouse. Oh, wait, we need to decorate a Christmas tree and hang ornaments on it. Let's do that. And the boy said, okay, okay. And the boy ran to get paper and glue, and he gives it to the mouse, and the mouse starts crafting things and cutting the paper. And the boy went and grabbed the Christmas tree and drug it into the house, and the mouse said, Hey, I want to get some glitter. I want some. And the boy said, Okay, okay, and grabbed some glitter. And so the mouse started pouring the glitter over everything on all the ornaments and decorating and just covering it all with the glitter, and everything was so shiny and beautiful and awesome.
And when it was all said and done, the mouse started hanging up the ornaments on the tree all over and covered the entire tree. And then he was done. And then the mouse climbed off of the tree and said, Yeah, wow, it's so beautiful. And the mouse gazed at the tree and said, Oh, I forgot the popcorn string. Do you remember I was going to hang that? I forgot it. Oh, and then the mouse went up to the boy and said, Hey, I want to make a new string of popcorn, please. I want popcorn. I need some. And if the mouse wants popcorn, then he'll want you to take him back to the movies.